Hi, welcome to SourceFed. I am Joe Beretta, and I am not a Florida fan. I'm just cold. Go Gonzaga. Hey, remember the tipping? Casey Calvary. Hi, Florida. Tim Tebow's cool. In huge space slash science news, the European Space Agency announced that they have just discovered Earth's closest neighbor. Like, can't get any closer kind of close. It's an exoplanet doing its orbit dance over in the Alpha Centauri star system, which is a three star system including two stars much like our own Alpha Centauri A and B, and a third dwarf star Proxima Centauri. The new planet is orbiting B. What's cool is that it's relatively the same size as Earth, but don't put your planet jumping pants on just yet, because the new planet completes its year in just three Earth days, meaning it's incredibly close to the sun, probably composed of all kinds of molten lava and fire and other hot stuff, and incapable of hosting life, except for fire people. There are probably fire people living there. This discovery has got space junkies and scientists and all those guys searching for intelligent life shaking with glee for two reasons. Reason one, the Alpha Centauri star system is literally our next door neighbor. The star system is the closest to our big Earth rock, meaning that the new planet is only 25 trillion miles away, or 4.3 light years. With our current tech, the trip is a pipe dream and would take tens of thousands of years to get there. But you can bet we're gonna start throwing all kinds of rockets and satellites and junk in that direction. Neil deGrasse Tyson tweeted, if we sent our fastest ever space probe to Alpha Centauri, the sun's nearest star system, the journey would take 75,000 years. He also tweeted, interstellar space travel today, taking a thousand generations to arrive, would require a crew of extremely fertile people. But who knows what kind of crazy breakthroughs humans are going to make in the next hundred years? You know? Who knows? Seriously. Who? I'd like to talk to that person. That would be a fascinating conversation. Reason number two, the prospect of other planets. Even though this new planet is probably like Mercury on steroids, super freaking hot and not suitable place for fragile human flesh bags, its existence means there is a very good chance other planets are in the same solar system. Hopefully farther out in the Goldilocks zone, which is the small area where a planet can kick it with the right conditions for life as we know it. And that planet, again, would be very close to us. Planet hunting scientist Jeff Marcy of the University of California, Berkeley said, this is an historic discovery. There could well be an Earth-sized planet in that Goldilocks sweet spot, not too cold and not too hot, making Alpha Centauri a compelling target to search for intelligent life. And that search has already begun. Since the recent announcement, Seth Shostak, the SETI master, has turned the SETI satellite towards Alpha Centauri, and now is searching for radio signals and remnants of old alien species versions of Casey Kasem broadcasts. Including this new planet, astronomers have officially discovered 842 planets outside of our system, which is a small chunk of the estimated billions out there. And even though we won't be knocking on the Alpha Centauri planet door, anytime soon asking for sugar and stuff, this discovery is still incredible. Every day we're learning more and more about our place in the vastness, and that can't be a bad thing, because knowledge is power and stuff, right? Anyways, guys, what do you think of this amazing discovery? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you discovered a planet, what would you name it? Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click this annotation for more videos, and go to sourcefed.com for bloggy type news. I am Joe Beretta. Go Gonzaga.